Oklahoma Public Health was hit with a ransomware attack on the morning of Friday, April 19th that blocked access to the APH servers. Medical Officer of Health Dr. Marlene Spruitt said that it appears no personal information or client information was taken. Their IT department was able to quickly disconnect the servers from the internet on Friday. As they continued to get all their services back online, all appointments at all offices are cancelled for today. They apologize for the inconvenience. The offices remain open and staff is available to assist you. The email system has not been restored but phone lines are working. More information will be released when it's available. Provincial police say a 21-year-old has been charged in the death of a man who was shot on the powwow grounds of a northwestern Ontario reserve. Investigators say a fight broke out early Friday on Arrowland First Nation. Officers with the OPP and the Nishnabi Aski Police Service found a man with serious injuries. Police say the man died at the scene and a post-mortem has been scheduled. Investigators say another man at the scene was arrested. He faces a charge of first-degree murder. The city's mayor and flood-affected residents of Gatineau, Quebec, want the province to be more flexible with its proposal to compensate homeowners hit by a second flood in as many years. A new compensation plan. This plan has a cumulative uh, maximum of one hundred thousand uh, dollars starting this year. So it means if uh, people ask for some money in the next three, five, ten years, there'll be a cumulative amount of one hundred thousand dollars. When the uh, cumulative amount will be reached, uh, then we'll offer a maximum of two hundred thousand dollars to move to another house. I think it's important we can not have a, um, every year a compensation to solve uh, the problems but only on a temporary basis we really need to have incentives uh, to move the people when it, it, it's happening every year almost Medical cannabis users in Alberta can now get their therapeutic pot from Shoppers Drug Mart, with the retail giant opening its second online platform today in the Western Province as it pursues the growing market. The launch follows the January debut of medical cannabis by Shoppers Drug Mart in Ontario, where the company says uptake has been strong. As in Ontario, the Alberta platform touts expert advice and counsel from trusted healthcare professionals, including tips on the purported health properties of various strains and proper dosages. Pharmacists and experts can also help patients process their medical documents, discuss contraindications, and help with online registration and strain selection. That information and support is sorely needed, says Dr. Hans Clark, who's a member of the chain's advisory board on medical cannabis. A member of an armed civilian group that has detained migrants near the U.S.-Mexico border was charged yesterday with being a felon in possession of firearms. The federal charges stem from a search of his New Mexico home back in 2017. Larry Hopkins made his initial court appearance yesterday in Las Cruces. The 69-year-old man was arrested over the weekend near Sunland Park, where he and other members of his group have been patrolling the border. His attorney, Kelly O'Connell, said the group said it was asked to be there by the U.S. Border Patrol. A criminal complaint states Hopkins, who has three prior fel felony convictions, had nine firearms and ammunition in his northern New Mexico home. Federal officials declined to say why they waited over a year to file the charges. They believe that they are helping to enforce the uh, laws of America on the, the on immigration. I mean, that's basically it's pretty simple. Enforcing in what way? Helping enforce. In what helping way? helping to to uh, intercept uh, people that they believe are coming across illegally, and and uh, getting them to ICE. Border Patrol. 